Welcome to CBT News with Bridget Fitzpatrick. Good morning, everyone. I'm Jim Fitzpatrick. Welcome back to CBT News. Thanks so much for joining us today. Tesla is facing challenges as it attempts to produce lithium for electric vehicle batteries near its factory in Nevada. Last week, Tesla CEO Elon Musk told shareholders that the company had locked down the rights to 10,000 acres in Nevada as it plans to become the first company in the world to produce lithium from clay deposits. However, the electric car maker is facing many obstacles with its plan due to hiccups with the permitting process, water access uncertainty, and critics questioning the company's planned methods. California is not alone in its plan to ban gas-powered vehicles. The state joined a list of 21 countries and regions that plan to ban gas and diesel sales in the next 10 to 15 years. The state of California could push the movement further along as many regions continue to consider moving away from traditional fuels. Great Britain, who had originally scheduled a ban in 2040, is heavily considering moving its target year up to 2030. Other notable cities and regions looking to take similar steps include Amsterdam, Barcelona, Hamburg, Mexico City, Paris, and British Columbia. Sales forecasts for the month of September reveal that dealerships are getting top dollar for vehicles. According to a monthly forecast from J.D. Power, the average transaction price for new cars and trucks in the month of September is headed for $35,655, an all-time record high. The same forecast predicts that retail auto sales in the U.S. are on the rise. Retail sales are on pace to hit about 1.2 million, beating September of last year by 3.4% based on the daily average selling rate. Coming up next on CBT News, we speak with Brian Moss, president of the California New Car Dealers Association. This segment brought to you by NCM. This is CBT News, the voice of the retail automotive industry. Subscribe today. As you know, California Governor Gavin Newsom recently signed an executive order that bans the sale of new gas cars and trucks starting in 2035 in California. We invited Brian Moss, president of the California New Car Dealers Association, to talk about this and challenges California might face as it gets closer to the ban. Talk to us a little bit about this. Transportation is one of the Cal is one of California's biggest sources of emissions, and Governor Newsom says this ban is in an effort to reduce emissions and fight climate change. Where do you guys stand on this, and what's your what's your take on it? Well, we we generally support efforts to fight climate change. Uh, mm -hmm. You can't be a Californian in the last uh, two or three years and understand that our climate. Uh, is changing and it's yeah. changing rapidly. Yeah. Uh, wildfires in the north and south state, and frankly, all over California, have right. uh, been devastating to many communities. Sure. Uh, while we support fighting climate change, we have a lot of questions about how uh, the governor's order and ultimately regulations adopted by the Air Resources Board will affect the automotive retail market. Mm -hmm. And we think a lot of those questions need to be answered before we go ahead and mandate the, a ban on the sale of internal combustion engine sure. vehicles. What are some of those questions that you've got in mind? Some of them have to do with uh, consumer affordability. Oh, uh, yeah. Generally speaking, as, uh, as zero a, emission yeah. vehicles are thousands of dollars more expensive yep. than um, uh, conventionally powered uh, vehicles. Sure. Uh, there's adoption. Uh, California leads uh, the country in ZEV adoption, but it's le still way less than 10% right. of all new vehicles sold are ZEVs, and that's including Teslas, um, who, uh, and Tesla's based in California. Uh, there's infrastructure questions. Right. Uh, in order to have a fully electric um, vehicle fleet, you're going to need thousands of perhaps millions of additional charging stations. Yeah. Uh, they're gonna have to be high speed charging. Uh, one of the things I like to talk to folks about is uh, right now, you can go to a gas station. Mm -hmm. There are over 10,000 in California and fuel your car in less than five minutes. Right. Uh, if you have a zero emission vehicle, there are nowhere near that many stations. Right. And the fastest fast charger chargers fuel your vehicle in a half an hour yeah 
So that's a significant yeah. change in behavior. You can catch the rest of that conversation with Brian right here at CBTnews.com. Now is a great time to sign up to become a member of CBT News. Members have full access to an exclusive library of industry news, full-length interviews with the biggest names in retail automotive, and up-to-date market information. Speaking of which, you can find current market data from coverage of the updated retail SAR to inventory stock levels at CBT News Market Center, powered by Lot Links. That's all we have time for today here at CBT News. Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram. I'm Jim Fitzpatrick. Thank you so much for watching today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Thanks for watching CBT News, the voice of the retail automotive industry. This is CBT News, the voice of the retail automotive industry. Subscribe today.